Hey third grade, this is Mrs. Eisenstein, and today we are looking at what we think happens to a sugar cube when it gets rubbed by a piece of sandpaper. So we have our sugar cube, which you should have already drawn, and I have my piece of sandpaper here. I also have, um, kind of showing down here on the table, I have my set on the table so that um, we can catch the sugar so that it doesn't fall all over the floor. So all I'm going to do, my steps are very simple. I'm going to rub on one corner three times. And we'll see what happens. So one, two, three. I'm going to shift down. This is my backup sugar cube. So that's what we had after the first. I'm going to switch over to a new corner. Make sure that you are recording your observations. So here's a new corner. I'm going to press a little bit harder this time. One, two, three. Pull that down. Let's see. A little bit more. Okay. Go to our next corner. We're going to press a little harder still. One two, three. There's my cube. Okay, so there, there it is after that third. There's the second. There's the first. And if we scroll down, come down and look, you can see we're getting more on the paper. Okay, and do this again. One, two, <laughs> just saw a piece of sugar fly off. Three, and there's another little piece of sugar flying off. So here is that next corner. This is one, we're gonna do the next corner. Two, three. It is really difficult to see through the video. You can kind of tell how it's changed. Let's try the next corner. Even harder still. Try not to break it off. One, two, three. So there's the next corner. One, two, three. There is the third try on that sugar cube. And the last corner, one, two, three. And so there is our last corner on that sugar cube. And if we come down and kind of see, so there is what happened when I rubbed the corner of the sugar cube with the sandpaper. Hope that you have made your observations and your teacher is going to guide you through the next steps. Until next time.